No. So we... Next question. No, we need money first. <laughs> Are you individually millionaires yet? No, that's another lousy room. I wish we were. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Epstein a millionaire. No, even he's not one, poor fellow. So Where well. does all the money go? Well, a lot of it goes to Her Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> She's a millionaire. <laughs> one more question. Where the hairdos come from? Where, where, where's the originality? Oh, scalp. John, we tell you there's a rumour um, in the news of the Beatles paper that you might be leaving the group. Rubbish. I'm <laughs> contracted. I've been trying to get out for years. You've been uh, writing some what, poetry. What paper? A uh, paper called The News of the Beatles. Never heard of it. Do you want to see it? No. It must be American. I've got it in my pocket. Do you no, want to see it? It's American. It's it American? Stick it, yeah. No, it's an English one. Oh, okay. uh, you're writing some can more can poetry. Have a look at it, please. Sure. Yes. Hang on to that. Okay. You've got to look at it now. Yeah. Well, good evening, viewers, and welcome to an interview with John McGregor. That's not a Thanks, poetry, John. Is it? it is. News of the Beatles. You buy cheap papers, yeah, you get cheap, cheap stories. We expected them to be very different, but, but they weren't at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the accent was the only thing, you know, it was the only different <laughs> Lovely. Did they, reckon, did they reckon you sang in, a, in, a, in an English accent or American? I hear, I hear anyway that the four of you are going to be millionaires by the end of the year. Oh, oh that, yeah. that's nice. Have you, have you got time, no. have you got time, to, have you got time to actually spend this money? What money? <laughs> he said. Doesn't he give any to you? No, no. no. Have you seen that car of his? Does the continuous living and working together impose any temperamental stress upon you? No, actually, yeah, it's quite it's quite lucky because we've been we've been together now for forty years. The Teenagers from Pennsylvania petitioned Her Majesty the Queen to have the Beatles knighted. Well, this hasn't happened. But today I'm pleased to say that they have been made members of the most honourable order of the British Empire. Congratulations, John, George, Thank you. Ringo Thanks. and Paul. Thank Tell you. me, how did you all react to this? Well, I went... <laughs> <laughs> Which means in sound. Whoopee. Well done. George. Well, well I sort there. of went, wow, that's great. Ringo. Yes. About the same. Yes, really I think we all felt pretty well the same. Now, last Six. year in America, your record sold no less than ten million dollars worth. Do you think your export sales has something to do with this? Well, you know, somebody said it might have been that. The papers keep know. telling us it means it's, um, it was. It could have been that, but it could have been. It might have been that. the tour in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think you'll go back to the Commonwealth again? This was a sensational visit. Yeah. Well, you know, we probably will. It's up to Mr. Epstein, our manager. What does this MBE mean to you all? How are you going to deck out to go to the palace? There's certain protocol to be observed. Are you going to dress up in morning dress? Yes, well, I think we'll, you've got to, haven't you? Yeah, we'll have to. We'll, we'll get them. What got about to the head? Well, we're not going to get it all put off, you know. Someone said we can carry the hat, so that'll be easier. I think Her Majesty will understand, you know. She may well do. From obscurity in a cellar in Liverpool four years ago and now to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Gentlemen, what do you think everybody on the other side of the Atlantic is going to say to this? Whoopee, I hope. <laughs> yes, I hope. You never know, they might say, boo, or... They might say, uh, hello, cobber, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Or, hello there, boys. Good on you, blue. Yeah. Well done. Or, well done. Howdy, Europe. <laughs> Texas speaking. Now, so two of you have got married, and you all live in well, good, domestic splendor. Has this affected That's your okay. writing, Paul and John? No, no, it's easier know. to write with cushions and to, you know, on, a hard, on pieces of hard bench, which you know we were on hard benches before we made yeah, it. Yeah, in the slime and unknown grime. cellar of Liverpool, and it's much easier on a nice cushion. Your place. plans for tours for this year and next year? Uh, we're going to Europe next week. Next week. Next Sunday, actually. And then we come back and, uh, and we go off to America. For two and a half weeks. We do telly. Uh, oh, we do the Ed Sullivan. Good old Ed. Ed Sullivan. Hi, Ed. <laughs> is he on Hope he's watching. He's watching in this one. Look. <laughs> there he is. All right, Ed. It's Mrs. Ed. Oh, I'm Mr. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked, gentlemen, whether you'll be able to... Uh, Paul, about a year and a half ago, there were quotes on the wire about uh, oh, your discussion of LSD and uh, some other things, narcotics. Yes, Larry. Uh, it seemed to me, from what I read, that you had endorsed it and uh, condemned we it. We were manufacturing it. What's the story? No, the, the business went bump. <laughs> <laughs>